Nikki here with Beauty Jador, and I am bringing to you the hack to my ME2034. Now, this is only the hack. It is not the actual tutorial. If you need the actual tutorial for this, which includes the pockets, the buttons, the whole thing, then that is a different um, tutorial, which I will link it here at the bottom. Um, but again, this is only for the hack. Now, you'll need everything that you need, pretty much with the exception of uh, like the pockets, the welt pockets, uh, but you will need the lining pieces and pretty much everything else. And you'll need, what else do we need? Some interfacing you need um, to be able to mark it up. And it's quite a few markings with the, um, with the hack. But I don't know, I, in my opinion, it is a quick and easy hack. Because with this one, it's, you know, well, doing these wall pockets, it takes time. Um, it's especially if you want them really nice and crisp. But with this hack, there's no pockets. It's a zipper. It's quick. It's easy. It feels good. Um, so, yeah. So, let me know what you think. And if there are certain things that I'm not going over in this tutorial, 100% sure that it's covered in the original tutorial. Um, because I didn't want to like belabor this and go over every single detail, especially if I've already done it. Um, so yes, so I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, concerns, let me know. Happy sewing. Okay, so what we want to do is um, grab a few things. So you want rulers, you want either pattern paper or you want regular eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper or whatever paper you have. Um, and of course, if you're not using pattern paper, you also want to make sure you have enough tape, which I need to grab more. Um, you're going to need marking tools. You're going to need um, interfacing and a separating zipper. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we want to grab the front piece. And I've already marked this up to death. So what we want to do is start from the very top. From right here, you want to measure down to six and a half inches. So from here to here, 6.5 inches. And then you want to go ahead and just mark. And then from this point, the six and a half inches down two and a half inches. And you want to mark that. So from here to here, 2.5 inches between here. And then you want to go from here down to here, two inches, and then mark. And then from two inches, down three inches and then mark and then from three inches down to another three inches make a mark and then you'll stop so you're only going to make the markings from here to six and a half inches two and a half two inches three inches and then down three inches So then what we're going to do is go ahead and take your either pattern paper or you're going to take your eight and a half by 11 or whatever paper you have. And we're just going to slide this under and tape it. I already have tape that's kind of sticky on here. So I'll just put this down. Someone was detected at your front door. And let's see. and do this put this right here at the tip okay so now what you want to do is make sure it's very visible where we stopped and you want to kind of like mark it extra right there and then what you want to do is from this point down you want to measure over four inches So 
you want to go over from here four inches. And you want to do this as you go down. And then do it all the way down. I want to make sure this is straight. All the way down okay and so these are marked four inches all the way down grab some tape. so now what you want to do is go up to where you marked here before you started adding the four inches. And then you wanna go up here and add three inches. So this was the middle part where we stopped. And then you wanna go up to the very next one and you wanna go over three inches. So from this marking over, one, two, three. So the next one up, which was two inches down, you want to go over two inches. And then the next one up, you want to go over one inch. And then this first one here, You want to go over a half an inch. So now what you want to do is you want to go all the way to the bottom. Let me put a little more tape on here. And you want to take your ruler. up and you go ahead and connect them. Then you want to turn this over. And then once you get to this point here, you want to take this because ultimately you don't want to add any more onto this part up here. So you want to put your pen or pencil there and then take this and just follow it up here. So this is what you'll be left with. So then you want to just go ahead and cut this out. Up at the top. 
So now what you want to do with the front facing is flip this over and where this would meet here, you just want to slip the paper and we'll put this here. You want to make sure this is completely lined up and then just go ahead and place the paper underneath. and tape it again if you had the um, pattern paper you don't need to do this but a lot of people don't just have pattern paper sitting around and I ran out so all right let's do this and then go ahead and tape this Now what you want to do is just go ahead and trace this. Okay. And then we want to trace this because you're going to need to know exactly where you going to place the pattern. So let's just go ahead. Okay. Now we're going to just go ahead and move this out of the way. And then you're going to take top facing and put it right on this line all the way down and then we'll go ahead and take this We'll cut this out following this perforated line. Let's go ahead and we can take this. you put these together it'll line up perfectly all right so let's go ahead and set this to the side and this is the sleeve so uh, with the black dress I added three inches um, so I just wanted I wanted it a little shorter this time. So I just went ahead and already added two inches in here. And there are two, there's a double line on the actual pattern piece. All you need to do is cut between that line and do the same thing. You add your, your paper or your pattern paper or your regular paper right in between those lines, two inches. So you can see here that I added two inches onto this piece. And that's the only changes that I made with the sleeve. All right, and now let's see here. All right, so we have the front lining and the fabric. Okay, so let's go back to the front piece.
then right here under the arm, we want to measure down three inches. So three inches from the top here, and then just make a little mark. And then what you want to do is go from here down nine and a half inches. So from this point to this point is nine and a half inches. And then just go ahead and mark where this one and this one lies. Now what you want to do is right here where these double lines are, you want to measure over an inch and a half. So then what you want to do is you want to, and I just kind of like freestyled it, but you can, from this top edge here, this three inches, you want to go over and you want to kind of sketch this out. And then you want to go from this nine and a half inch part because ultimately what you're trying to do is meet up here in the middle. So you wanna go here. So you've gone three inches down and then from here, nine and a half inches. And then from here over, it's one and a half inch and you're going to meet in the middle. And then just go ahead and so now what you're going to do is take the back piece, you're going to line it up with the front right here under the arm and use this as a guide and you want to go ahead and push this on through it might be easier also if you after you do that to just go ahead and mark this So you have both of these pieces. And we have the front facing. Okay, so we have all the pieces altered that we're going to alter. Now what you wanna do is just go ahead and place these on your fabric and make sure you do all the markings. The markings are, and I explained this in the first video as well. Um, they're just really important, especially when you're doing a collar. So just go ahead and do all of your markings and on the fabric that you're using. And also, this would be a good time to, with the front facing, to put your inner facing in here too. Um, and I'm going to use an interfacing that has a little bit of stretch to it, which I don't typically do that because I like my interfacing to be like really crisp. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do that and do all your markings. Okay, so we have all the pieces cut out with the exception of the lining. And now what we want to do is go ahead and put the darts in. So the darts on the back as well as on the front. Okay, so we have all the darts in and now what you wanna do is with right sides together, take the back and the front.
and connect at the shoulders. Okay, so we have the front and the back connected at the shoulders. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and stitch the side seams. But keep in mind, we did the markings. Where are we here? We did the markings on the side. So when you stitch this, you want to stitch down, but then once you get here, you want to follow your marking and go in and then continue to stitch down. You want to do that on both sides. Okay, so we have the sides stitched, and now what you want to do is go ahead and we're going to cut this little piece out here, part, which is part of the seam. And you wanna leave enough so that at least you could try to um, press it nicely. I'm gonna do it on the other side as well. I typically use a rotary cutter, but my blades, well, the one blade that I have is very dull and I don't have any more. So here we go. All right, now what we wanna do is go ahead and press the seams on both sides. Okay, so we have uh, the side you. stitched <laughs> and pressed out. Have. And now what we want to do is go ahead and grab the under collar. We want to go ahead and stitch these together. And the under collar is piece number 10. Go ahead and stitch these and then press the seam allowance open. Okay, so we have uh, the under collar stitched and pressed out. Now what we wanna do is go ahead and quickly do the darts that are on the lapels. So, we'll go ahead and pin these. So we're going to do this on both sides, then go ahead and stitch and then press the uh, seams toward the front of the, of the lapel. Okay, so we have the darts installed um, and pressed out. Now what you want to do is go ahead and take this uh, under collar and attach it. So you want to make sure you match, match up the notches. What am I doing here? There we go. I got pink. Okay, now what you want to do is go ahead and stitch from this first marking all the way down and around over to this marking. The marking, my markings are really 
light. So I just kind of like stuff pins where I need to begin and end. So go ahead and stitch that and then press the seam allowance open. Okay, so we have the uh, under collar attached. Now what you wanna do is you wanna measure down. So you wanna measure seven inches from right here under the arm. So you wanna go down seven inches and then, which will put you right here, and then you wanna measure over from here three inches. And once you do that, just like stick a little pin in. So you're down over three inches. Okay, so once you do that, let's go ahead and turn this over. And you want to put a piece of interfacing over this portion here. And then go ahead and iron this interfacing on. Okay, so we have the interfacing attached. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and you're gonna place the zipper. So you want to take the zipper apart and place this right here. And then you want to pin it. And then what you wanna do is go ahead and stitch the zipper on. So what you wanna do is you wanna stitch to the far right as well as as close as you can get to the zipper teeth. Okay, so we have the right side of the zipper installed. And now what we want to do is work on the sleeves. So you want to put the two sides together and you want to stitch from underneath the arm down to the marking. And once you get to the marking, you want to reinforce this stitch, but you're leaving this part here open. Okay, so we have the um, sleeve stitch. Now what we wanna do is add in here from this marking to this marking, the basting stitches. And we wanna do that so that we'll be able to easily fit the sleeve in without any buckles or puckers. So let's go ahead and do that on both sides. Okay, so we have the base stitches in. Um, so what you're gonna do now is, well, I like to put um, a little bit of facing around the armhole. You don't have to do that, um, but I just feel like it stabilizes it a bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then go ahead and put the sleeves in. Okay, so we have the sleeve set in, and now what we wanna do is, um, and of course this is optional, some people don't like shoulder pads, um, but I think these would be really Someone good with shoulder with pads. Um, it'll just set it up nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and put shoulder pads in and be right back. Okay, so we have the shoulder pads um, installed. 
Now what you want to do is work on the lining. So we want to pull the lining pieces out again, just to make sure. So this is the front lining. What you want to make sure you have with the front lining is where we did this um, indentation right over here. You want to line this, the front up, piece number one, with piece number 12 under the arm. And then you just want to mark this so that it transfers over to the front lining. So when you cut your front lining out, in addition to doing the darts, you also need to make sure when you stitch it, you stitch it the same way and then cut this portion here out. Okay, so now we have the lining pieces and the facing. Um, I also have the lining to my sleeves. And I don't want you to, because the, the there's this opening, there was like this high slit that's on the, the wrist. I don't want you to be able to see blue, so I just um, use the green for the bottom half of the sleeve. So this is just the sleeve lining. I just made it two different colors. So what you wanna do is go ahead, and this is the facing, the front facing, is to attach the front lining to the front facing. So we want to go ahead and stitch. And then once you stitch this, you want to go ahead and press the seam toward the inside of the coat. You want to do that on both sides. Okay, so we have the front lining connected to the front facing. Now what you want to do is connect the two front pieces to the back. And you wanna do that at the shoulders and um, at the side seams. Okay, so we have the front and the back connected. Now what we wanna do is go ahead and do the sleeves the exact same way we did it for the, the actual fabric. Okay, so we have the sleeve inserted into the lining. Now what we want to do is attach the upper collar. So you want to make sure you match up the markings. Okay, and once you have this pin, you wanna go ahead and stitch this, and then press the seam allowance open. The youngest of four children. Okay, so we have the upper collar connected. Now what we wanna do is attach the lining to the actual fashion fabric. Okay, so we have the lining connected. Now what we wanna do is go ahead and put the other side of the separating zipper. So I already marked where I wanted mine. Uh, you just wanna make sure everything is even. So you wanna make sure the neck is meeting over here. That way you know exactly where this is gonna line up. Just go ahead and place this right here at the top. You wanna to make sure this is even. 
and let me grab pens. And you want to go ahead and place this right here. And you want to place it so that only the zipper teeth are exposed. So not too far over so that you catch it, but Uh, excuse me. Okay. And then just go ahead and pin this. Okay. Let's see. Let's bring that up. All right. Then go ahead um, and using a zipper presser foot, go ahead and stitch this as close as you can to the edge. Okay. So I have the zipper installed. And another thing. I typically would have used a green separating zipper, and um, but I didn't have one. And then when I put the black on, I didn't like how much of the black was showing, so I just covered this right side up uh, just with the same fabric. But I would definitely recommend if you're going to use whatever fabric you're going to use, use the same color zipper. So now what we want to do is just go ahead and finish the hem and then we're all done. Again, uh, if you want like more of the step-by-step -step of this actual pattern, including every step and every detail in terms of the, the collar and the hem and the, the sleeves, look at the first video, the original video of this pattern. Um, so this one is more so just to show you guys the alterations and how I alter the pattern to get this look. So if you have any questions, any concerns, um, let me know. Thank you so much.